Hello everyone, Justin here, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a trap inch, a pretty easy Pokemon. So let's just start by drawing his head, which is kind of oval shape. So let's draw the top of his head first from the front of his mouth. And we're going to stop right there for now, because right here, going across the bottom of his face will be one of his arms. So let's just go ahead and start drawing that right here. Just going to draw a curve and then it's just going to curve off to the left and this part of his arm will be kind of where his hand would be and so that part will be a little bit bigger than back here. Right here. So this is the shoulder. But anyway, let's go back to the head. Just kind of keep going this way. So from here, continue that curved line and it's going to start curving in a little bit there and the mouth will then go across right here and what it is is just a zigzag line so you can vary the teeth a little bit but it's kind of like a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin and this will be the end of the mouth. I'm going to have it finish with a, with an upstroke here. And let's get, just go ahead and draw the bottom of the mouth. And this will basically just mirror what we drew already. So we'll be able to see the inside of the mouth. And first we're, we'll go ahead and mi mirror that tooth. And then that would be the other side of the mouth. I'll just go ahead and start coloring this in first. So let's draw the eye. The eye is going to be way out here. We'll just, we're just going to draw an oval. And the pupil will be kind of a star shape. So imagine four points like that and we're going to connect them with a curved line. There's one, two, three, four. Four lines that connect the dots, the four dots that we had marked. I don't know if you were able to see that. But anyway, you've got this four-pointed star for a pupil. And then up here, we've got a yellow spot. So I'm just going to draw a foreshortened oval just like that. Alright, so let's go back to the body. So from here, let's just draw the one side of his his neck there, or body. This is going to go down. And the body's going to be kind of an oval shape here. So let's just go ahead and start drawing that. Okay, and then there will be a leg right here. So we'll start by drawing a curved line for the proximal part of the leg or the near end of the leg and then we'll continue this down to the foot with a curved line and we'll do the same on this side and we'll just round that off. Alright, we'll do the same on the other side. Couple curved lines. We'll curve the bottom and here's that other line okay so let's go ahead and continue the body this way behind the leg and it's gonna go this way and over here will be the left arm and we'll draw it just like this so on the inside of this body line draw a curved line and then a couple curved lines going out getting wider towards the hand area and then just curve out the end. Alright, let's finish this body line behind the arm and to the head. Alright, let's draw some details here. So he's wearing what looks like a bib or a overalls. So here's the one part above the arm and it's going to go across and then back up. All right, center line of this shirt, and then kind of like a collar. 
we'll just draw that line. So then on the other side of this white, this thing around the shoulder, it'll come down and then back to the body line. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw in a couple shadow lines. And notice this one. So shadow lines, right? So the light's coming from the left. This part of the arm is catching a lot of light. This is a brighter or lighter colored area. And then this would be in shade, shadow. And notice where I drew this because this kind of indicates that this side is, has a surface like this, kind of flatter, whereas the upper arm is like this. So let's do the same thing here. We've got this shadow line, and then I'm going to bring it down and then over. Okay, this just kind of helps to give it some form. And I'll just go ahead and draw another shadow line here for the body. And one for the leg. And right here, this would be a cast shadow where the body is casting a shadow onto the leg. Anyway. So let's just draw another sh cast shadow underneath the head. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to outline this so that some of these lines kind of stand out a little bit more and set off the head, for example, versus the uh, other details. So there you go, this was a pretty easy Pokemon trap inch. So thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.